my name is Lois Mbo. Um, currently, I serve as the director of wellness at the Open Institute. Wellness is, a, let me call it a new concept, where we seek to integrate the well-being of employees into their day-to-day -day lives, both at the workplace and away from the workplace. So wellness essentially means that as an organization, we want to be deliberate about the well-being and the health of the staff so that we can build their capacity to deliver at optimum levels. And so what that entails is pretty much looking at what does an employee require to be able to perform at their optimum. So is it capacity building? What kind of capacity building are we talking about? Is it skills improvement? What kind of skills? Are we looking at technical skills? Are we looking at soft skills? We're also looking at what is the physical environment looking like? And physical environment, uh, particularly in this day of COVID, uh, and even just the fact that we spend a better part of the day working. So how is the physical environment, the infrastructure, is it conducive for staff? Um, does it meet the health needs of the staff? So it goes beyond, you know, we have a machine providing tools, but also just asking ourselves, are the tools also efficient enough? Do the tools support uh, staff to deliver efficiently? We also then look at things like, um, what is the uh, mental space and mental environment that we provide for our staff. Um, and when I'm talking about mental environment, so I'm gonna talk about two things. I'm gonna talk about mental environment and then I'm gonna talk about mental wellness. Mental environment is pretty much ingrained in the culture of an organization. So what is our culture? Because culture influences our well-being, our mental well-being. And culture is both the written and the non-written norms that um, that dictate how staff and will will engage with one another within the office and away from the office. So looking at what is our culture at, at the organization, what does the culture support? Um, and then what is the mental well-being of our staff? So things to do with uh, the workload that we give them. Is it, is it enough workload for them? Uh, the tasks that we give them. So we go, we start asking ourselves, what are we doing? What are our staff doing? How are they doing it? Is that the best way for them health-wise? And so health-wise is both physically and mental. And then why are we doing it in the way that we are doing it? Are there other ways of doing it? So the key goal for wellness, like I said, is basically just to integrate the well-being of staff into their day-to-day -day life at the workplace and away from the workplace to ensure that they deliver at the optimum. My job is to review the organizational culture, to assess its effectiveness, and its effectiveness in terms of what is, how does the culture of the organization support the organization in achieving its mission and vision, but also how does the culture support the team the staff in them doing what they're required to do at the optimum. So I am, and in the process of reviewing, then I also have the mandate to um, transition the organization into a change process as and when required. So some of the things, for example, would include um, carrying, out a, a, carrying out an assessment survey to just find out what are the employee satisfaction levels, for instance. Uh, finding out what is the cultural, how do we define culture? Uh, designing what we call an organizational culture map. So yes, I, part of wellness is being able to define and review culture and then remap it in such a way that it becomes conducive for the organization but also it becomes conducive for the staff to be able to do what they're required to do at the optimum.